I want to kick things off with Dr. Judy herself and her part in the top trending Netflix four part docuseries, Crime Scene The Vanishing at the Cecil Hotel, which examines the mysterious death of 21 year old Elisa Lamb. We actually have a clip of the trailer. Let's all take a look. Throughout its history, the Hotel Cecil has always had a dark persona. People call it Hotel Death. A hotel with a notorious past is the site of another bizarre case. Alicia Lamb from Vancouver, Canada is missing. She was running around trying to save her own life. Had things keep happening here over and over again. Congrats to you, Dr. Judy. You really rocked it. You know, I know the Cecil Hotel. My son used to live two buildings down. I, I know the, the crazy history that it has. So tell us about your role in this docuseries. This is a really interesting take on true crime. It was a four part series, really slowly unraveling the mystery behind Elisa Lamb's disappearance. And ultimately they did find that she died and she was actually in the hotel's water tank on the roof for a few weeks before they found her body. And there was a lot of different conspiracy theories and what happened to this woman. And I think against the backdrop of the Cecil, as you mentioned, the fact that it has this grim history and at the same time as a cultural landmark, all of that is really the entire package of why I believe this series was so um, riveting to people. We showed them, you know, the way that the investigators approached it, people who were internet sleuths who cared about Elisa, how they approached it. And at the very end, I revealed what actually happened to Elisa. Well, Dr. Judy, I mean, the, the, the story has so many different interweaving parts, but as you alluded to, it's the setting. It's all about the Cecil Hotel, and clearly, uh, as it came out in, in the piece, it has a dark past. I mean, we're talking about serial killers like the Night Stalker. He lived there. I mean, there's so many deaths and suicides and overdoses that it actually made it on to, to Hollywood tours for, for tourists to come by uh, and see it. I mean, some of the, the quotes like, well, we get three 911 calls Mm -hmm. per day and things like that. And and uh, the, the people that do the maintenance say that, oh, we find uh, dead people in rooms on a regular basis. I mean, it, it's a crazy venue for this disappearance story to unravel. Absolutely. And when the Cecil first opened its doors in 1930s, it was really luxurious. Businessmen were coming to essentially spend their weekends there. It was kind of like a nice getaway. But over the years, it became more associated with people who were kind of down and out and didn't really have a place to go. But at the same time, they were still getting a crowd of tourists, especially internationally, and also students and young people who were just passing through town for a night or two. So there was a real mix, a cultural mix of different types of people here. But because of the grim history, I think this is why it has captured the nation. Yeah, I mean, I, I, it's not that long ago, a couple of years that I walked in and the lobby really is striking. It's a deco lobby and it has marble and brass and super high ceilings. So I can see how, how it would suck you in, but there's something eerie film noir about it that's hard to describe. There's something that, that kind of puts you on edge. And, you know, talking about their guests, I guess you could get rooms for as little as $4 a night, $7 a night, something like that.